I want to share some data with you uh, to put this in perspective, you know, because sometimes people don't quite get what we are doing. Say, so, oh, the vice president is launching an app, you know, sort of like an app. What has that got to do with the economy? Then you look at a company like Uber, which is an app for trans ride hailing, right? What is the value of Uber? I checked yesterday the most recent value for Uber, this app. That is $163 billion. $163 billion US dollars. That's the value of Uber. What is Ghana's total GDP, the total value of our economy? Ghana. What is Ghana? $75 billion. The total value of Ghana's economy, $75 billion US dollars. Uber, one company, has a value of $163 billion. Twice the whole of Ghana's economy. From one app, they've built a value of $163 billion. And you still don't, in this fourth industrial revolution, you must understand the link between digitalization and the economy. One app is generating a value of 163 billion. You ask about Microsoft, which just builds apps. Microsoft, the value of Microsoft, as I yesterday, was three trillion dollars. One company. Three trillion dollars. That is 40 times the value of Ghana's economy. One company building apps. Because you are in the fourth industrial revolution. If you don't join it, <laughs> you're going to be left behind. This is where the world is going. Apple is worth $3.5 trillion, 46 times Ghana's total economy. One company. Because they are building apps that we are all using. Even Airbnb, Airbnb is worth 85 billion US dollars. More than Ghana's economy. From one app. Just one app that they are making the money. So as you enter the fourth industrial revolution, you are either going to be the developers of these apps or the users of these apps. And we have to make that choice. If you want to empower your local economy and be a full participant in the fourth industrial revolution, you have to be developing many of these apps. So today, I'm very proud to be able to have played a part in, in, in getting us to this point. You know, but this is the thinking behind Ghana card behind mobile money, interoperability, digital address, and all of that, Ghana.gov, and all of that that we are doing, EL, health, and so on, that we are going to have to make sure Ghana is not left behind in this digital revolution that we are seeing. And we need to see more local empowerment in this space.